Have you ever wondered how to create a professional step-by-step -step guide that you can sell as a digital product? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own step-by-step -step guide to help you turn your knowledge into cash. Hey friends, it's Tisha Marie, and I'm here to teach you how to create and sell your digital products using online tools. In this video, I'm going to share with you two free tools that's going to help you document and package your step-by-step -step process to create an ebook or a guide to sell as a digital product. The first tool that we're going to use is called Scribe. Scribe will record and automatically generate your screenshots and descriptions of each step of your process without the hassle of manually taking a screenshot of each step of your process. This is a great tool to use if you're in the tutorial niche like I am. Uh, this can also work if you're in the education niche, the tech niche, or corporate niche, and you have a process that you want to document and turn into a guide. To get started with Scribe, all you need is a valid email address and download the browser extension. Using the browser extension is free. However, if you need to document a process that is on your computer or that uses a desktop app, then you would need to upgrade to the Scribe Pro account, which is about $23 a month. Now let's switch over to my computer screen so I can show you how to document your process using Scribe. Okay friends, so this is the Scribe dashboard. This is what you will see once you get signed up with Scribe. On the left hand side is a menu and you can scroll through the different menu options and check out those options. To create a new Scribe, you wanna go to the top right and click on new. And then it's going to ask you what type of scribe that you want to capture. If we are using the free version, you want to click on browser. It's going to ask you to select the tab that you want to scribe. Once you have your tab selected, it's going to let you know that it's now capturing your browser. And you simply just go through the process that you would normally go through that you want the scribe to capture. Once you have completed your step-by-step -step process, you want to go to this little red purple dot. It is the scribe's controls. You want to click on that and you have the option to complete your capture, pause it if you want to switch browsers and you can also move your controls. And then if you want to start over, you can delete it. So once you're done, you want to make sure you hit the com complete capture. Once you hit complete, Scribe is going to open up another web browser for you to start editing your Scribe. And now we have our step-by-step -step process. And one of the cool things that I really, really love about Scribe is that it auto-generates everything. It auto-generated this title, so which means it knows what you are scribing. If I wanted to change the title, I can just click here and change the title to whatever I wanna change it to. I could add a description. Um, since I'm the author, it has my name, it shows how many steps of my process, and also shows the estimated time that this process could take. If you scroll down, it shows you each step that I clicked on in order to show my step-by-step -step process. So imagine having to do this and do manual screenshots. This would take forever. So you do have some additional options that you can edit your file before you download it. So if you go over here to the right, you have document actions. You can add a page, duplicate a page. Um, if you have team members, you can duplicate that as well. And if you want, you can duplicate, I mean, excuse me, you can delete the scribe. So next is step actions. If you notice that some of your steps are similar, you can combine those steps. Or if you need to add additional steps, you can copy steps and as well delete steps. It has this AI feature where it magically merge steps. So any step that looks similar, it will merge it into one step. Now, if you wanna add some customization, you will need to upgrade to the pro account. So if you wanted to edit your steps, you just click on the step that you wanna edit. And right here, it says click here. You can add additional information to the title. So let's do that. And you can do this for each of your steps. If you want to delete or copy any of the steps, you can also click the three dots here in the top right of that step. And it also will bring up the options to do that. Once you are done making any edits or changes to your steps and you're ready to share your document, you wanna click on share. You have the option to share it via email. 
You can also embed it into your website. Um, but the option that we're going to use today is export. We're going to export it as a PDF. You do have some additional options to export your step-by-step -step process. And the, but as you guys can see, that requires a pro account. So let's click on export PDF. So it's generating the file. This is going to take a few moments and depending on how long your process is or how many steps you have, um, that's how long this could take. So it could take a little moment. So once it's ready, you want to click on view PDF and it's going to open up in another browser and you can view your PDF. So to make sure that it gets saved to your computer, you want to make sure that you click on the download icon and download it to your computer and you can save it anywhere that you want to save it on your desktop. Technically, your step-by-step -step guide is done and you can share it as is, but if you want to level it up and give it that professional design look, then we're going to use our second free tool, which is Canva. So let's head over to canva.com. From the Canva dashboard, you want to go to the top right and click on create a design. And then you want to click on import file. And then you just want to locate your PDF wherever you saved it to your desktop and click on open. And just in case you guys didn't know, you can edit any type of PDF inside of Canva. Once you import your file, you want to go to your recent designs and click on the file and it's going to open up the Canva editor. Now that we're inside of the Canva editor, you can edit all the different elements of your step-by-step -step guide and customize it to fit your brand and your style. So if there's anything that you don't want, like if you don't want the scribe logo, you click on scribe and then hit the trash can icon. And if you you can also add additional elements. So let's say if you wanted to add an arrow, you can click on elements, click on arrow, and you can just scroll through until you find one that you like. And you can simply just play around with this and add this to your guide, change the color. Let's change this to a color that stands out. And there you have, it. you can delete elements and add elements. You can edit the text by changing the font style, changing the size of your text, even changing out the color and adding some text effects. Another thing that you may want to do is replace the scribe website with your own website. So let me zoom in just a little bit. Best way to do that is by using the find and replace option. So you want to double click the text. You want to control C or copy the text. You want to go to file, scroll down until you see the find and replace text option. In the find box, you want to paste the website that you just copied and then you want to replace it with your website. And once you add your website, you want to click on replace all and you can see that it will place throughout your entire document. This is very helpful, especially if you have a document with a lot of pages. Now you can also link your website by adding your link. Once it's highlighted, you want to click on the three dots, click on link, and then paste in your link and your website will be linked in your PDF. Now there isn't a way, or at least I haven't found that there's a way to do this throughout all your pages. So this is something you will have to manually do for each page. If anyone out there knows how to do this without manually do it on each page let me know down in the comments to search for ebook style templates you want to go to the search bar and type in the word workbook i find that this keyword will populate the most variety of ebook style templates and you can simply just click on the templates to view the different pages and see if that is a template that you want to use. Once you found a template that you want to use, you can add the style of this template to your PDF pages. So to do that, you want to scroll to the bottom of your template, click on template style. It will add that template style to the current page. To apply it to all pages, you want to make sure you select apply style to all pages. And now that style has been added to all of your pages. To make our guide look more like an ebook, we want to add some additional pages. To add an additional page, you want to go to the top right and click on add pages. 
this is going to add a blank page you actually want to click this arrow to move it up so i want to add a cover page an about or an instructor page and a table of contents table of contents is optional i just want to show you guys how to do it so to make sure we duplicate our blank page we want to duplicate this two more times so we have our blank pages so from the template that you chose you want to insert the cover page you want to go to the next blank page select the instructor page and do the same for the third page and select the table of contents now you don't want to use the apply all pages option because you will end up replacing your scribe pdf pages and you don't want to do that you only want to add the pages that you need now there's some other pages that here on the template that you want to add you can simply again just add a blank page and add that page let's edit the cover page i don't like this photo you can change out the photo if you want i'm actually going to remove it by right clicking detach the image from the background and delete in the background i like this the way it looks is minimal i like the way that looks and i'm going to add my title here and like I said, if there's anything that you don't want, you can delete that. You can add your information here at the bottom. This could be your website, your business name, whatever you want to add it as. And you would do the same for the next pages. You would just edit them to fit your style. And I'll change it to about me. Let's see, I'm going to scroll through a couple of my stock photos here and see what I want to add to switch out my photo. Let's use this one. So you can upload your own images and add them to your design and add a little bit of information here about yourself by just again highlighting the information and replacing it with the information that you want to add and with your table of contents you can just edit this to match the information that is in your grad pdf and again the table of contents page is optional once you're done designing and customizing your ebook or your guide if you want to preview it you want to go to the bottom right and click on the grid view and you're able to see all of your pages of your ebook to return back to the previous view you want to click on the closed grid view on the bottom once you're done editing and customizing your step-by-step -step guide you want to download your guide first you want to make sure that you change the title here at the top to the title of your guide after changing the name of your title go to the top right click on share select download make sure your file type says pdf i'm not sure why <laughs> canva is thinking this is a mp4 but you want to click the down arrow and click on pdf standard or this is the option i like to use because it's best for emailing and using on the web and then once you make sure that your file type says pdf you just simply click on download and now we have a professional step-by-step -step guide that you can sell as a digital product okay friends so that is how you document and package your step-by-step -step process to create an ebook or a guide to sell as a digital product let me know down in the comments what kind of step-by-step -step guide you plan to create and if you enjoyed this video make sure you are subscribed because i am creating a dedicated playlist on creating digital products and you don't want to miss out so to check out that series make sure you click on the playlist that's on your screen until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.